Hi, George Moore here at Marsh Bank Park in West Bloomfield as we're checking out the free concert series they have going on here. Lots of families here enjoying the atmosphere and enjoying the scenery, and we're here to find out what a good time they're having and what else is going on in West Bloomfield. That's good family fun, so stay with us. What is your name? Elaine Levin, my husband Martin. Martin. Now you guys, uh, from what I understand, live like within walking distance, right? Yeah, yeah, we live uh, just over on North Shore and we walk over here for these concerts. It's absolutely wonderful out here. Fortunately, it looks like the weather's going to hold out for us the whole time tonight. How cool is that to be so close to such, you know, nice, wholesome entertainment and something that's really good for you? That's well, very nice. It's easy to get to. Something fun to do during the week. And, uh, fun and free? Fun and free, I guess. What would you guys tell somebody from not in this area about this area that will be real positive, really good? Well, we have one of the greatest park systems here in West Bloomfield. A lot of diversity, and then this park, they redid everything here, it seems like a couple years ago. So we've got all new facilities. Um, you can rent the pavilion. They've got great bathrooms. They've got a kayak launch. This park is just a wonderful asset to West Bloomfield, especially for us that can walk over here. And be good friends. She'll be working for the Chamber of Commerce any time, any day now. <laughs> Very cool. The question would be right now is, who let the dogs out? <laughs> the moms did. The mom. I'm the mother. <laughs> What's your name? Carrie. Carrie, tell us, uh, you're at this event and you live in West Bloomfield, right? Yes. Tell us about what goes on in West Bloomfield and how it is for folks to enjoy things, particularly at this time of the year in the summer and, you know, all year round, actually. Um, I live a mile and a half from here. Um, I oftentimes walk my dogs up here through the park. Uh, the revamping of this park was done quite beautifully, and I thoroughly enjoy it. And um, the West Bloomfield Parks and Recreations have wonderful trails that I've been able to enjoy. Uh, today, we uh, actually go to the dog park very frequently, and uh, I have a community garden as well. So, and uh, we do the trails on the West Bloomfield uh, um, the network, the, the, the rails to trail system. So it's easy for community involvement for everybody in the area. It is. It's, it's a very easy, accessible. Uh, you know, the, the drive is reasonable. Um, the only thing I would like to say is uh, they need to increase the bike friendly pathways for the sidewalks and whatnot. And I think there is some plans in the works for the city to do that. And more dog trails, right? Are you ready to sing now? Yeah. You say what I say. You say what I say. And everything will be okay. Ready, man? Put on such a great show, interacting with the crowd and all, and just really making everybody feel warm and welcome and entertained. So, is that something, of course, that you just comes naturally, right? Definitely, I'm naturally an entertainer. But actually, I'm with a very great band, and we've done many um, of the community uh, concerts this year. And tonight was special. I told you privately that it was special because God held that rain off so we could um, put on a good show. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. But give us an idea of what it's like when you perform in these communities and how that is important to the community. Well, it makes them feel like they're appreciated because somebody came out to give them a free, did I mention free? A free show. It was free. It was free. And we did our best, even though it was free. You still get everything we're getting if you're paying some money somewhere. And they deserve it. Turned out good, too. Excellent. Hi, I am here with Janice, a longtime West Bloomfield resident. And Janice, you were telling me that this, there's so much to do around West Bloomfield. Give us a rundown of what, what goes on here. I love West Bloomfield. I love the parks. I love coming to this park and uh, Bloomer Park and 
uh, Drake Park. I love all the areas to walk in. The nature trails are fabulous. I love these concerts. I love the lakes. I love the shopping. I love hillers. I love bushes. I love the whole area. I really do. My daughter got a very good education here and went on to U of M and went on to med school and she's doing very well. And I think that this is a result of West Bloomfield. These are things that, of course, people are looking for around the area. So what would you tell someone coming and looking around for some place to live about West Bloomfield? Uh, you couldn't have a better community, very diverse, uh, very energetic, um, a blend of very good places to shop as well as parks, as well as recreational activities. I've taken knit knitting classes over at Parks and Rec. Um, I have gone on some of the trips. The, I have trips for people that are seniors where you can go to different restaurants and I just love it. There's, I have no complaints whatsoever. It has been a very good investment. Nothing but love. Nothing but love. Nothing but love for West Bloomfield. Yay! <laughs> Had a great time out here with the concert and the folks behind us enjoying it here at Marsh Bank Park. And all the time we were out here, I never found out why they call it Marsh Bank Park. Oh, there's the marsh over there. Where's the bank? The bank? Thank you. For Civic Center TV, I'm George Moore.